YouTube, what is good? It is your boy Flex. And put your muscles up, because we're back with another video. In today's video, man, you guys are going to learn a little something about me. If you guys did not know, I'm a huge motorcycle enthusiast. I've been riding bikes since I was a little kid. And as an adult, I've owned a couple of street bikes. So now in this video, we're going to be reacting to the Isla and Man TT Road Race, which is probably the most extreme motorcycle road race you'll ever see. Let's go ahead and cut out all the chit chat, man. Grab your headphones, turn the volume up, get that full experience. Let's get into the videos, watch it, let's go. Man, I love the sound of that. Look how close they are, bro. And I know them bikes are not quiet at all. Bruh, your ears. That can't be good for your ears. No, oh, they're probably doing like 170 right there. Look at that bike. That bike is so sexy. Like the cojones you have to have to take those corners at that speed. And just people just going going along with their daily daily activities, man. God, I just, I just, that sound of the engine at high RPMs just give me the chills, man. It just gives me chills. I would assume most of them are wearing like ear, like headphones or earplugs or, or something just to kind of dampen the noise because. That is loud. Oh, his body position was not. He's crossed. Ooh, the boys is neck and neck. Look how close they are to the wall. Look how close he is to the wall. Like, like you could you could scrape the wall with your head, that's how close they are. Doing doing a buck seventy at minimum taking that turn. If there is one event in the world that I could partake in, this would have to be, this would have to be the one. This would have to be the one. And then, and then of course, then of course the Derby Day next. So it would go Isla Man, and then a good, a good football game. Oh. See, that's what you hate to see right there. Everything's all fun and games until that happens. All in ass. I wonder how many times they get to travel this track before, you know, I'm sure they have a lot of time to prepare 
to remember memorize the the track or the course. But just to take those corners at the speed and velocity that they're doing is just it's something else. It gives me the chills, man. Just, I love motorcycles. I love them. Woo! That is close. That is a little, it's a little too close for comfort. I ain't gonna lie. Because if something were to happen, like, the bikes are moving too fast for you to react. Is just skating on the road. Bro, that dip right there is not okay. Oh my god, that dip would scare me. Hitting that dip at that speed? No way. And the sound only amplifies because, you know, there are houses on either side. So the sound is just bouncing off the wall. It's like you only get a second to look at them. <laughs> Every single time. It's like after that type of event, my neck would be hurting. <laughs> you know, he just bunny hopped. He just bunny hopped the bike. That's crazy. You <laughs> see, you see his head. <laughs> I love it, man. I need, I need to go. Ooh. Yeah, you you got to be you got to have some cojones. You got to have some major grande cojones to partake in the Isle of Man. Not only grande cojones, but a, a massive skill set in, in the art of riding a motorcycle. Say that again. So how many laps are in I like how many laps do they run? And and I'm pretty sure is it it's like it's not an actual like first or second, it's a timed event, right? So whoever has the fastest time on the track is the winner, if I'm not mistaken, right? Somebody let me know in the comments down below to let me make sure I'm kinda on the right track with that.
Oh, and also the physical endurance you have to have to do this as well. This whole like going full speed like that the whole time. I know it's I know it's a draining draining on the body. It has to be. Ooh, that bike sounds nice. I love it. I, I'm a, I think I'm going to say this a couple more times before the video is over, but I love that sound. The sound of a bunch of bikes gaining speed together. Oh, it's music to my ears. Music to my ears. Man, these guys are so good, man. Oh, that, that, that man was close. That was close. Oof. You gotta have also a gut of steel, man, because as many times as there is those pucker moments, your stomach gotta be strong. Ooh, ooh, the overtake. I feel like we gotta be leading so hard. That's a Ducati. That sounds like a that sounds like a Duke right there. Either a Duke or an R1. Just, it just looks so fun. It just looks so fun. Dude, I'm like freaking out right now, bro. Seriously. There's like four of them. Is that from the video? My tribute. See, I'm I'm her right there. Like that's me. That lady right here. That's me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Man, the road just looks so nice. That's a BMW right there, S1000. What do we got here? Looks like a CBR Fireblade. That's another Fireblade. 
BMW. Yes, sir. Oh man. Oh man. The Isle of the Isle of Man TT Road Racing. <coughs> Look, I just get choked up <clears throat> just even thinking about being there in person. Like I said, like I I love motorcycles. This is a post a pic right quick of me and my bike, me and the R1, the 07 R1. I'm a big Yamaha fan, but I love motorcycles. This man, like I said, this would have to be my number one sporting event to attend. Like if I'm going to attend any type of sporting event, track race, whatever, Isle of Man TT is on my number one. It's my number one. It's my number one. Hey, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite motorcycle brand is. If you like motorcycles at all, let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up and of course, smash that big red button. Until next time, you guys, put your muscles up. It's your boy Flex. I'm out of here. Peace.